Welcome back to the channel and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys real quick how you can use edge creases in Blender. So um, it's a type of edge data that it tells Blender when we're using a subdivision surface modifier. It kind of gives it the ability to crease a certain amount or not crease a certain amount. So I'm going to show you real quick how we can set it up using these two examples here and how it can give us the ability to make some things more affected and some things less affected by the subdiv modifier. So to demonstrate the bevel weight, I think instead of just using the default cube, let's do something a bit more interesting. So I'm going to delete the default cube, shift A, let's just quickly add in a cylinder and let's tab into edit mode. And with the cylinder, we can just go S, Z, scale it up into Z. And let's go to our edge select here and just go control R. Let's roll in a few edges, maybe this many, double click and then go control B to create a bevel. Let's click and then let's go E to extrude right click and let's go S shift Z and just scale these in like so. So now we have an interesting object to test with. So let's go to our modifiers. Let's go add modifier, search and get a sub and get a subdivision surface. Now Blender does allow you, let's quickly tab back out. Blender does allow you to use a simple form of the subdivision surface modifier. So if we turn off the optimal display and you go into wireframe, you can see we can actually subdivide, subdivide without this weighted effect. Now the weighted effect here is what we're trying to, or the, I guess the, um, the deformation along with the subdivision surface modifier. That's what we're trying to affect here. So we do want it to be the Catmull Clark method here but we want some of these edges to not be affected. So let's say for example, we only wanted the inside here to be rounded, but the outside to be sharp. So let's tab into edit mode. And as a start, let's go shift alt, left click on this edge and in this edge. And let's go down and grab each one of these outside edges as we're going down. Maybe, in fact, let's just, let's just come down to maybe just bit here, yeah, like that. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go shift E is the shortcut. And if you move your mouse, you can create this line and the pinker it gets, the more influence you have. So let's drag it all the way, like so. And now we can tab back out. Let's right click and go shade auto smooth. And now you can see the subdivision surface modifier is only affecting some of these areas here, like over here, but over here, these edges are nice and sharp. And that is a really cool use. Now there are more things that can be set here. So let's quickly go in here and deselect. Let's say for example, we, grab this edge over here. If you want more options, you can press N on your keyboard, go to the item, and then you can come here as well and try something like the mean vertex crease. Now in this case, it's not gonna really do so much, but if we actually tab out and we go Shift A, let's quickly add in a cube. Let's give that a subdivision surface modifier and move it over. In this case, bump it up a few times. In this case, if we were to give this a um, crease over here, Right. We can come here into this mean vertex crease. And if we increase this value, it kind of goes closer to its original position. And if we bring it down, it relaxes more and gets affected more and more by the subdivision surface here or the, the, um, the weights over here. So you can now go and grab these and give them all individual um, values like this. So this one here, take it to one. But if these ones here, we can avoid giving it any of this, or we can just give it something like 0.3%. Let's grab this one. Let's go point three, And that can give you the ability to make all sorts of interesting shapes like this. So that is how you can use bevel weights in Blender. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this and that you're able to use this in your future Blender projects. 